Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today I'm doing a quick update on the PAR video. This is just, like I said, a quick update. I'm not going to go over all the numbers, but I just want to discuss a few things about these LED strips compared to these T5s up here, compared to the Kessels, Radions. I love, love the blue look, and it really does make the corals pop. But if you don't have a strong enough par, man, your corals are going to feel it or not feel it. And it's going to show or not show if you get my drift. You want that colors to pop, you need the colors to penetrate deep in the tank. And if your light is not getting to the bottom, your corals are just like I said, going to look faint. They're going to look weak. They're going to look wimpy. Um, so that being said, after testing these levels, on those Kessels, on these Radions, on those strips, even on these little dinky things, growing Chato in here. I know people always ask me, can I grow Chato? How much light do I need? They go out, they put 400 watts over top of some algae, and you know what? There's a lot of debated things here, and we're gonna get some answers. So, it is a weekend update, so I'm pretty beat. I'm not getting the details. Oh, and it is my birthday today, so that, that, that is pretty important. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys some new inventory updates. I'm going to do a quick little splash, go in the tank, show you some corals, and then I'm going to get out of here. So I am going to, like I said, I got a lot to talk about the par on these lights. Um, it is Reef of Palooza this weekend. There's just so much going on. So I just wanted to do a quick update. Those of you who are regular watchers of this channel, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Um, and as always, thanks for watching and wait for the next one. Thumbs up and share with a friend, and thank you for being part of the Coralist community.